Brothers and sisters, settle, settle. I come to you this day with great news. My starry disciples, our search is nearly complete. For decades we've toiled and scoured and fished about this wretched continent for that ever-elusive tome, the Grimoire Eternus, the book to end all books, the storied and long fabled, the Necronomicon! Yes, Sister Halo, that's, that's the one. Next time, maybe you let the actual cult leader speak its eternally horrible name, yeah? Thank you. The, uh, <clears throat> the Necronomicon! Yes, no doubt some among you have questioned its very existence. Our search has been wide and our labor great, with as yet no return. Well, brothers and sisters, it may be that we have come upon its actual location. Uh, Brother Bright. Gregory. Gregory! We talked about this, man. This night, brothers and sisters, our men... And women? And women are on their way to retrieve that tome as we speak. Is this not what we've been looking for since our establishment is a legitimate death call? Yes! Is it not in our official membership charter? Yes! Is it not we who should be the first and only to lay our hands upon it? Yes! Shall we let the abominable butcher or other lesser cults get their stinking paws on our glorious bounty now that it is so closely within our reach? Yes! No! No! no. And with the Necronomicon <laughs> finally in our hands, nothing will stop the Haunter from regaining his true form. No end to the work! No end to the work! So, where is it? We have found him, brothers and sisters. The man who will lead us to it. We have found him, and we watch. We watch. Okay, welcome everybody. My name's Shanoa Ravendair, and this is Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. I first heard about this a couple years back uh, when they put some information up on Imgur regarding this game. First thing that drew my attention here is everything is hand animated. So this is old school, traditional pen and paper style animation. Based on that opening, looks like we're in for something pretty fun. So let's get a new game started. A storm. Hmm. That's the least of my worries. <laughs> Change. Everything's changing. Always changing. What's a Joe supposed to do? You take a new case and it's all you can do to be prepared for whatever it throws your way. The only thing you can know is whatever it's tossed at you won't make any kind of sense but up against the last thing. It's the change, you see. I've been hired to locate some kind of ancient oh, an arc. Have inside of it the kind of stuff makes the Joe's guts turn salt and sallow. Real type mystical mumbo jumbo, which I guess explains the weirdo cults popping up all over Darkham. <laughs> you know something's left to center when the folks hiring you want to keep themselves all secret like. Cash is cash though, and I could really use the milk. That something doesn't change. Put some weight on my man and rearing forbiddens. The kind of pressure makes a Joe's stomach jack flip, and he points me at this dark and ancient library. Dark and ancient? Huh. What's not dark and ancient in Darkham? <laughs> Damn. Most times, the new is just as bad as the old. Sometimes worse. Uh, there we go. Well, here it is. Miskatonic Library. Not the, uh, friendliest place in town. And this town and friendly ain't even in the same zip code. Okay, so this is a traditional point-and-click uh, style adventure game. So let's see what we have to inspect here. Darkham, horrible hellhole. 
Never thought I'd stick around when I came here 23 years ago. She was local, young and unstable, and I was probably too much to handle. Then she left me with an empty bottle of 81 proof and a broken heart. Uh, my gut instinct was telling me I could look at everything a second time, glean extra information that might be useful, or not. Okay. Not nearly as badly lit as the name would suggest, but more than compensating on the creepy scale. The brooding, festering horror of the ancient town. Weird, that just popped into my head from nowhere. A sea of rotting roof tiles, decaying masonry, and who knows what dormant evils. Darkham, horrible hellhole. Never thought I'd stick around when I came here 23 years ago. She was local, young and unstable. And I was probably too much to handle. Then she left okay, me with an empty so bottle of 81 proof and a broken heart. Uh. Okay, let me see here. Okay, so it looks like when the eye is closed like that, there isn't anything more for him to say on the spot. Not your prettiest tourist-friendly town. Got even more Darkum. Surprisingly colorful here and there, but I didn't let that fool me. The town had been bubbling with occult activity for a while, and I was about to look deep into it. Like a sea of ugly, decrepit, tile covered whales. See what's in our diary. Sources hint at the Necronomicon hiding in plain sight inside the Miskatonic Library. How plain that site is remains to be seen. Gotta look into it ASAP. So that's why we're here at Miskatonic. What's this? No. Gotta investigate the library first. Um, what about this? No. Gotta investigate the library first. Okay, let's go investigate the library, Don. You hard-boiled detective stereotype, you. Okay, let's see. Um, let's start with a strange pass relief. They really went out of their way to make this place as creepy as possible. I'll bet the common Joe doesn't even know what a bass relief is. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. I don't know, this is a pretty cool looking library to me, Don. The more I look at them, the less interesting they get. Okay, fine. That's where folks get strange, ancient diseases by flipping the wrong pages with their <laughs> bare fingers. Okay. Wear protection. Goes for libraries, too. <laughs> okay, the writing on this is spectacular. I love this. It's a dusty old book. Its title is really hard to read. Try again. A very convenient treatise on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. Useless garbage. Aww. Ooh, popular books. It's the popular book section. Apparently, all Daniel Maroon novels. You know, Vatican mysteries and all that. <laughs> Daniel Maroon's anathemic adventures. <laughs> Daniel Maroon's blood boiling baptism. <laughs> Daniel Maroon's clerical conundrums. Daniel Maroon's deacon's debauchery. Sounds spicy. Oh my gosh. Daniel Maroon's eucharistical enigmas. 
Oh my gosh, how many did they put in here? Oh my gosh. Daniel Maroons, Fathers and Fedoras, my personal favorite. <laughs> Daniel Maroons, Gibbous Gospel. Hey, Gibbous. Daniel Maroons, him hunting. I hear it's a snoozer. Daniel Maroons, improbable iconostasis. Daniel Maroons, jump in Jerusalem's. It was his first foray into comedy. Still sold a heap, though. <laughs> Daniel Maroons, cryptic cloisters. Ah, he was reaching. Daniel Maroons, lengthy litany, 4,200 pages. Ouch. <clears throat> Are the, oh my gosh, I'm going to bet there's 26 of these because they're going in alphabetical Daniel order. Daniel Maroons, menacing monastery mystery. <laughs> Daniel Maroons, nuns and nooses. Oh boy. <laughs> Daniel Maroons, Presbyterian perils. Daniel Maroons, queer clephotic quests. Sounds particularly exciting. <laughs> Daniel Maroons, Reliquary Rapture. Daniel Maroons, The Sacramento Sacrament. Daniel Maroons, Theological Tenabra. Daniel Maroons, Unholy Unctions. <laughs> Daniel Maroons, Vinci's Vengeful Vigils. That makes no sense. Daniel Maroons, Warring Worshippers. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. No entry for X or Y. Can't blame them. <laughs> and finally, Daniel Maroons, the Zesty Zealot. I got an achievement, Mild OC Detective. Oh. There's still more on the book rack. The joy of reading. Those look like the exception. I wonder exactly what that bass needs relief from. The oppressive, stagnant atmosphere of Darkham. A trudging, boring life stuck in a library interior. An uncertain future in the face of an uncaring populace. The ridiculousness of this fish pun? I don't know. No one can be sturgeon. Ah, who gives a carp? <laughs> anything in oh there's more in the study area nobody there looks like it's just me and this librarian fella no sir we're from different worlds me and that thing there i don't want to trigger any hidden doors or anything i'm just here to pick up hints nah I do different kinds of studying. Not really my type of literature, but I can take a look at them. Not really my type of literature, but okay. I can take a look at them. Um, dusty, intriguing book. I don't need it. What else is here? Strange medallion. It's like that strange tentacled beast is watching me. Probably is. Looks like Cthulhu up there. That thing is very unnerving. I feel like poking it in its plaster eyes. Can't reach it from down here, and I'm not sure I want to. Oh, that's fair. Uh, how about the desk? That desk is literally blocking my access to knowledge. A little on the plain and ugly side, too. I guess I could lean on it while I interrogate the librarian, but I'm naturally intimidating. If my detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. Who would grab and stick to this kind of job in this kind of place? They must have fish hooked them. Free internet will do that to a Joe. I don't know, I think I'd probably fall for working at Miskatonic University's library. Wouldn't end up well, but I would probably. This librarian fall for it. looks a few centuries short of the age requirement. <laughs> evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, 
let's see. So, how's things in the library business? Uh, you know, can't complain. It's a living. Those uh, electronic books hitting you folks hard these days? Nah, not really. People don't tend to read much at all anymore, so it's all the same to us. Hmm. Interesting library you got here. Is it old? Yeah, pretty old. It's old, huh? How old? Like really, really old. You might even say it's it's ancient. Ancient, huh? How ancient? <laughs> it was established by one Jeremiah Orne in, uh, let's see, uh, 18... A really, really long time ago. Huh. Thanks for the info. Sure. The name's Katype. Don Archetype. Here to see about a book. Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah. It's called the uh, Necronomicon. Do you have it? Oh, that book. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one? Uh, why, sure. Uh, you've got your, uh... Oh, wait, you're talking about the real Necronomicon, aren't you? Yeah, no, sorry, that doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. Excuse me just a minute. Sure. Okay. Anything new going on in the previous places? No. Anything new in our notebook? Nope. Okay. If my detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. Meant to talk to him. You, uh, wouldn't happen to be intentionally trying to conceal it from me, would you? I'm just a librarian, sir. As far as I know, the real Necronomicon is a myth. Sorry to disappoint you. You haven't been the first to come and ask about it, and you probably won't be the last. Definitely our most popular in existent book. Who else has been interested in it? Everyone, from excitable teenagers to these freaky cultist types that seem to crop up everywhere in the last few months. Just when you thought Darkham couldn't get any weirder, these clowns come along and prove you so wrong. What can you tell me about these cultists? They come in all shapes and sizes. Can't really tell them apart. I mean, it's not like they waltz in here dressed up in ceremonial robes or anything. But you can tell from the way they speak, they're not all there. Hmm. No such thing. No such thing as the Necronomicon, you say? Mind if I, uh, sneak <coughs> around your collections a little while? I don't mind, personally. You'd have to talk to Mr. Orne about the Rare Books Department, though. Uh, at the moment, he's really busy with some new arrivals upstairs, so you'd have to wait a while. But, sir, waste of time, really. That book is just a legend. An ugly, ugly legend. Aren't you a bit young to be a librarian? Look, I can tell you come from a different era, but between you and me, that's straight up ageist. Oh, really? And that, uh, different era business ain't? Touché, Mr. Katype. I'm a student, it's a job, it's quiet, it pays the bills. <laughs> Aren't you a bit too old to be a student? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. That's something your type would say, right? My type? Now look here, son. There it is again. Oh. <laughs> I didn't catch your name, Mr. Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. That's an interesting surname, and an accent that I can't quite place. Yeah, I'm half Romanian. My mom was born in Transylvania. I kept her family name because it sounds cool, you know? Never get teased because of that? No, no. For Buzz, on the other hand, plenty. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. 
Uh oh. Sneaky cultist. Double click screen exit arrows to teleport. Okay. <laughs> Lazy lurker. Doorstep. I'm sure that's not okay. Thing on the doorstep. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. It ain't for my nose, but I could uh, pass it on to the librarian. We got a thing. It's this thing I found on the library's doorstep. Looks like a package of some sort. Nice kid, I guess. I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's for you. For me? What, what does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business, Katype. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. Muhahahaha. Is it me or is this thing ticking? Oh! Oh! He's gone. Was that you making all that racket, Kerwin? No, Mr. Orange, sir. Someone set up a bomb in here. I, I was about to call the police. Nonsense! You call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son! Now that was some firepower <laughs> right there! Clean up a little, will ya? I... uh... Okay, sir. <laughs> oh, I love Harry Dresden. It's great seeing him referenced in here. Okay, we got a shoe and a strange medallion. So let's check out the shoe first. It's probably Katypes. It's Mr. Katypes' shoe. Well, I feel like I should call him Don now that we've been through this together. It's Don's shoe. It's Don's shoe. It's all he's left behind. We're gonna... Okay, we're gonna take... Gonna take Don's shoe. It's Don's shoe. It's all he's left behind. Okay. And the medallion's glowing now. What's going on there? Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the? Uh-oh. It's sure to fall off and kill someone whenever the next earthquake hits. That monstrous cracked medallion is literally an accident waiting to happen. I'd knock it off for sure, but I can't reach that high. Um. I just realized how long I've actually wanted to do this. Don sends his regards, ugly. Yeet! <laughs> uh oh. Is that book glaring at us? Is, is this what Don was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. Creep factor just went up 200%. Who'd hide it up there and why? You're coming with me, weird book. I... oh, okay. 
not really giving me a choice there, are you? I never Bruce? thought I'd actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. <laughs> oh boy, what an evening. <laughs> think, Buzz, think. Dawn's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. The best thing to do is retreat to the bus cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all about. You, you could put the, the fire, get, but it's on fire. <sighs> okay, safely home. What? What oh. the hell was all that about? That cat is, is cute. This really happening? Am I really talking out loud to myself? What is this book? God, I need to stop talking to myself. I sound crazy. Kitty, should I open this thing and see what's written in it? What do you say? Uh, you're a lot of help. Okay, might as well take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Kashaptuzi Dinger Kampa. Per Adonai Methatron. Whoa. That doesn't look, that didn't look good. What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, kitty? God, I wish you could talk back for once. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Buzz, what did you do? Okay, we can look at things here. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, 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 wait. Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? <laughs> you talk. I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and reverse this. That, that should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right? I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's... There's different text on it now. What the... Should I read it out loud? Wait, sorry. I wasn't... Considering your point of view here, do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta choose which one of these to say. Um, hmm. Personally, I wouldn't say any of these, but then again, I also wouldn't have stuck the number Necronomicon in my pants. So, um, oh, let's go with this this short and sweet one in the middle. Rabmi lo yakzi ishtari kampa. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? Uh, yeah. Darn it, can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Uh, by the way, Kitty, nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. Kitty, is that what I call you? <sighs> Haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumbest name possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna stick around? 
No, I'm gonna rock the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? <laughs> That's gotta be racist or, or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. Yeah, you're right. I'm on it. Oh my gosh, Kitty's eyes follow the cursor. Oh my gosh, aren't you such a cute little sarcastic kitty? Oh my gosh. Whee! <laughs> okay, so can we click on Kitty? Oh, we can. It's Kitty, my cat. She talks now. Your cat? Uh, just a figure of speech. <laughs> She's just as grumpy as usual, but I guess it fits her. Why am I staring at her? Back to adventuring. Oh, but I like Kitty. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh yeah. I gotta find out. Kitty, this might be a bit weird, but remember when I brought Lady Friends home? Kitty, this might be a weird thing to ask, but remember when I brought Lady Friends home? Yeah, those were rare enough occasions that I can remember. Oh, I see where you're going with this. I have no interest <laughs> in that. All the kissy kissy sounds are just... Ugh. I tune them out. Ugh. <sighs> Good to know. <laughs> What's a bit harder to tune out are the audio olfactory clues to how your digestive system works. Or rather does so poorly. What? Ugh, just don't fart around me anymore, okay? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Kid is going to be a way that we can get clues if we're stuck. Uh, but right now, there's plenty of stuff to investigate, so... That's Ron Dilbert. He's really grumpy. He looks... Ron can't help us now. What's Kitty have to say? Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. <laughs> Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Man, I hope I get to visit someday. <sighs> Okay, I've got to get my head back in the game. Someday soon, I hope. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Let's move on. They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well... I don't like this new situation at all. Someday soon, I hope. Completely useless right now. Please don't drag me into your immaturity. That's Kitty. My, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know. Not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. Touché, pussycat. I'd say she looks cute, but... She's within earshot. Stop. <laughs> nah, I don't need it. Aw, oh, you always need a picture of your kitty. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. <laughs> My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. Dead as... Well, dead. No use. It's dead. I don't think I'll bother her about it. It's our oven. I'm deathly afraid of it. Long story. Tell me. Look, I'm afraid to touch the thing. I have this long-running fear of leaving the gas on, and then the dorm explodes, and I'm not even slowly walking away from it. I just stand there in tears. No. I'm not sure I can bring myself to open the oven. I'm a weak, weak man. 
Hey, it's not completely empty. That's her tiny fridge. It's a can of Dr. Fisher, produced exclusively with fish materia water. That ensures my lips will never go anywhere near it. She's not into sodas. I'm gonna grab this. Hey, we got a can of fish soda, I guess. Make it soda. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll try again for the, try the oven. Hey, kitty. Think you can uh, open that oven for me real quick and, and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs, you're gonna have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. Uh, I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes, and fear is the path to the dark <laughs> side. Fear leads to anger. Anger... Open the damn oven, Kerwin! <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I did it! Hey, and there's Lemma's key. Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. A suspicious key. Let's accept this cookie, I guess. I think I'll take it, you know, for sustenance. <laughs> Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. I'll take it either way. Oh, that is definitely a suspicious cookie. He <laughs> cat collaborator. Um. It's usually either full of Lemma's dubious cooking or completely empty. Nah, I can open it myself. Um, let's see. Lighter? Uh, it's our one and only treasured lighter. Well, Lemon's lighter. I'm kind of afraid of working the stove or oven. Get it yourself. You're the one with the posable thumbs. Gonna grab this for a while. Yoink! Hey, we got a lighter. That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Whatever was in it has probably grown more powerful with time. I got my fill of suspicious sweets. Not on your life, buddy. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything over this way. For some reason, I picked up this can of the foulest soda widely available. It's the key to Lemon's domain of derelict degeneracy. Nice alliteration. Very suspicious cookie. Effects remain to be determined. <laughs> it's our one and only trusty lighter. Okay. Where do I, I guess we can go... Beyond this impenetrable portal adorned with god-awful decorations lies Lemon's Shangri-La. He's such a hippie, it hurts me mostly. Lemon's locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Kitty, I'm a little stumped here. I have no idea what to do next. We're clearly in over our heads. Maybe we should reach out to someone who knows more about this black magic thing. Mm, you've got a point. Wait, how about my roommate, Lemon? He's my roommate too, remember? Yeah, he does know a lot of people. A lot of suspicious people. They're really into his homemade cookies, for some reason. Suspicious people is definitely who we're after. I've seen him write down names in this little notebook. Maybe we should look for it. Uh, he's away on that esoteric retreat thing, though. No way to reach him. We're gonna have to find a way to get inside his room. Okay, so I seem to be a little ahead of the game because I have Lemon's Key. 
that kitty was cleaning herself. Okay, check this out. The man's got bongos! Boop, 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 boop. I wonder if I can... Oh, you can't do anything with the bongos. Oh, let's look at the minuscule guitar thing. It's one of those licky, oh, 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 <laughs> uh, tiny cute guitars. It's cute. Oh no, my band days are long gone. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. You're probably right. Gaudy hippie cloth. Oh, that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. Here we go. Ooh, kitty clean. What do you know? A pair of scissors. You ink? Of all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. But surely, what else? <laughs> Grimm's a, Grimmy's a regular hippie, isn't he? Can we take it? I can't just snap my fingers and produce fire, unfortunately. Okay, fine. Book. It's a book, Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says, A compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. Page on the right says, Invisible ink. Use lemon juice to write secret messages on paper. Only you will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat. Note, make that a source of mild heat, not open flame. Hmm. It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says, a compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. <laughs> What's Kitty gotta say? No need, I, I can read it myself. You certainly can. Um, tribal mask? I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kinda scary if you ask me. I would not sleep with that thing above my head, I'll tell you that. We thankfully have no need for it. What's Kitty think? Primitive or not, I doubt Kitty appreciates art. Actually, I've been a little into cubism lately. Snob. <laughs> I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. My eyes, they water. It's locked. I know it's locked. It's it's always locked. All right, Kitty, I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? Uh, I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. <laughs> oh, this patchouli stink is giving me dizzy cells. Oh, here it is. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. <laughs> hey, we got Lemon's book. Okay, let's take a look at this. Ben and Lemon's oh, diary. The are all blank. What am I missing here? Oh, you silly fool. Oh, wait. I know, I know, I know. I can light the incense. I can light the incense. Yay! And then... Let's moderately heat this baby. Hey! Yes! It worked! Oh, lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. Alright, kitty. Now let's see this list here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 
I think I got it. How's VG for all your supernatural needs sound? Uh, there's the address. We're practically neighbors. It's the best option we've got so far. Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. Oh, right. You've mentioned it. Let's go. But we've got to try and rescue him. <sighs> All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? Uh, I guess we have no lead yet. Lead? Sam Spade over here. You know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? Uh, sorry about that. Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it is. I'm sorry, but I could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Dark PD, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town. Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. <laughs> no, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, all right? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. <laughs> so now we have a talking cat, a missing detective. And that's the end of the prologue. All right, kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova! Let's get on with it. Meow. <laughs> Meow. That's cute. Okay. So. This looks like a good place to stop for now. Aw, Kit is so cute. The way you follow my thing. Anyway, um, so we've got a missing detective, a talking cat, the Necronomicon in our pants, and no clue how to fix Kitty or find the detective. All right. So that is it for Gibbous today. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get it on Steam. It's actually a pretty cool little game. Um, the animation so far has been beautiful, and the writing is just a hoot and a half. I can't wait to see what they have in store next. So I will put that down in the description, and I'll get the next episode up as soon as possible. I'm really looking forward to playing the rest of this. See you later!